Hi. So today we'll be talking about the variations in a normal menstrual cycle. So what is a normal cycle? Well, for most ladies, if she's getting a period once every month on a more or less a standard date, if she doesn't bleed too much, if it's not too painful, she's happy. She's got a normal cycle. But from my point of view, I would like certain data. And if you would refer back to my earlier capsule on the menstrual diary, you'll get what I mean. So we'll look at aspects one by one. The first aspect is the cycle length. The number of days between the day one of your cycle and the day one of your next cycle. On an average, uh, you will be expecting a 28 day cycle, but we're happy, very happy the cycle which comes 21 days and also comes every 35 days. So we have a 28 days plus or minus one week. And if she gets it regularly around once every 23 days, that would be a normal cycle. And it's as normal as that of a 28 day cycle regular. And it's as normal as that of a lady who comes a cycle every what 33, 34 days as well. There's nothing like someone is more normal than another. For that particular lady cycle, for her hormone imbalance, that's her normal cycle. Provided it sticks within that 21 to 35 day cycle. And if you're coming out of that 21 and 35 day cycle, you probably need to have an evaluation. Would it still mean there's something wrong? No, that's where we come in play. You could have a girl once in a while who has a cycle coming once every 36, 37 days. And there's nothing wrong with her. But you'd need a checkup done to confirm that yes, everything is all right. The next issue we look at is the number of days of flow or the duration of flow. On an average, a girl would have a three to five day flow, but again, we're happy with the one to seven day flow. So a girl could bleed for one day, we're happy with that. Or you could have a lady who could bleed once every uh, 28 days, but bleeds for around six to seven days. Again, we're happy with that. She could have spotting for seven days, she could bleed for three days and have spotting for three days. As long as her duration of flow is within that seven day period, we're okay. Now coming to the amount of flow, which actually is really important for me. How do we assess the amount of flow? On a medical point of view, we would expect a girl not to bleed more than 80 ml per cycle. Now how do you assess that? It's very difficult. It makes it easier if you're using menstrual cups but very difficult otherwise. Number of pads you use per cycle, that'll give us some clues. Uh, whether you're passing any clots or solidified blood, well, if you are passing clots, that's usually considered to be bleeding more than you should. But on an average, uh, we use the lady's average. So if she says, I'm bleeding this much and I'm pretty happy with it, we'll go with it. But over a period of time, if a lady is bleeding more than 80 ml per cycle, we expect her hemoglobin to start to drop. So we'd always check your hemoglobin and check whether you're anemic. And if you're anemic and you have a history that you're bleeding a little bit more than you're, 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 you're used to, then uh, we'll assume that you're bleeding more than 80 ml. What about pain during your periods? Well, normally a lady would be expected to have a certain amount of discomfort during your periods. It should not come in the way of your normal life. You could take some mild painkillers and if you can lead your normal life with those painkillers, again, that's probably acceptable. Everyone's pain threshold is different. But if your periods, the pain of your periods is coming in the way of your normal activity, or if you need a large number or large doses of painkillers, probably need to have a checkup with your doctor. What about the other extreme? No pain at all. Is that an issue? Well, we're not really happy with a girl not having pain at all. In fact, we feel that if you're having pain during periods, it's probably there's ovulation is happening all right, usually. And if you're not having pain at all, it's possible that you're not ovulating. So maybe you need to have a checkup with your doctor. I will be covering this uh, issue of pain during your periods uh, in some detail. We call it dysmenorrhea and I will be covering it in detail in the future. 
A normal girl's period starts at puberty and that puberty again is a range. It could be any time from around 9 years nowadays to a 14 to 16 years age group. Starts off first with a little bit of hair growth, then a little bit of breast development and then you'll get your periods. A lot of variation. I'll be covering this in uh, some detail in a future capsule. And your periods end at menopause. And again, it's not one day or one month or not even a year. It's a period of time. And uh, yes, I will be covering that in detail, probably multiple capsules in detail in the future as well. But we expect a lady to attain menopause somewhere between 45 and uh, 55. So in my next capsule, I'll be talking about the normal pelvic anatomy, specifically the uterus and the ovary. Its relationship to each other and its relationship to the organs around it. Please do like my capsules and please do comment. I love your comments and I'll respond to every one of them. And please do subscribe and click that uh, notification bell uh, so that you'll be updated uh, whenever I upload a new YouTube video. Alright, so I'll see you next capsule. Okay, bye.